team, Rogue Rudder presents Mobile Hotspots, crowdsourcing the human experience. New South Wales transportation has grown from the days of horses and carriages that would allow hundreds of travelers to get from one point to another, to a thriving system of buses, trains, ferries, and rails moving hundreds of thousands of people daily. The Department of Transport New South Wales was established to manage this complex system to find faster ways to get us from point A to point B. It has collected and published information about routes that, when used by applications like TripView, have become a stable tool for the public commuter to navigate the ever more crowded city of Sydney and its surroundings. Yet, at this GovHack hackathon, we found that in all the data available, there is one element that isn't represented. While there is great detail on moving a train, bus, or ferry to a specific location, we don't get a view of the passenger's experience. Human beings have travel needs and wants that don't just involve timetables. While applications like TripView allow you to plot out the most direct and seemingly most efficient course on the transit network, it cannot guarantee when you will get to your destination, nor tell you what to expect of the quality of your travel experience. Why not capture that experience? Every day we miss millions of chances to capture information about the health of our transit system from the best testers out there, the passengers. But imagine, what if there was an application that allowed these passengers to submit details of their trip from start to finish? This information could be transformed into a scoring system that would allow the trips of other passengers to be altered to improve the comfort and speed of their journey. Enter Transport Mobile Hotspots, a crowdsourcing app that allows a commuter to report on the congestion of a station. This would be calculated into a heat score that, along with trip data sources from New South Wales Transport APIs, would allow a traveler to select different routes to improve their transit experience. For example, a traveler leaving Olympic Park after watching a game heads back home to Bondi Junction. Forced to stand in a packed train car, the traveler loads TM hotspots, which tells him to disembark at Redfern Station, earlier than the trip view appointed Central Station, to transfer to the T4 Eastern Suburbs line. He does, and is awarded with a seat on a nearly empty train. At Central, many of the passengers on the same journey were forced to stand for the ride. This reroute was based on the heat score of Central Station, reported by application users who had previously passed that way. This is but one example of the information that can be collected on the human experience with New South Wales transportation. Crowdsourcing could be used to report the cleanliness, safety, and overall status of every touch point in the system, from carriages to stations, restrooms to taxi stands. Additionally, the heat score for any of these touch points could be calculated not only from crowdsourcing, but from data like camera feeds, boarding logs, social media mining, think Twitter. The list goes on. Once calculated, this score could be used as a data source by other applications to transfer their dry timetable routing into a trip that caters to preferences and priorities selected by the traveler, be it a clean bathroom, fast transfer, or even a high probability of a seat on a carriage. In conclusion, adding the commuter experience to existing travel planning data will empower commuters to choose the type of transit experience they desire, not just a time and destination while collecting data that will give Transport New South Wales a finger on the pulse of the human element passing through their transit networks.